assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel piping knowledge today we are going to discuss about reinstatement in the piping system in our piping how to do reinstatement today especially i want to talk about in the oil and gas field reinstatement in the piping refers to the process of restoring of the piping system especially restore karna kehte hain especially need to do restore after the hydro test reinstatement has to be done after hydro test when the hydro test is completed that time need to be line is need to be restore again in the same position hydro test is performed to verify the integrity and strength of the piping system for filling with the filling of water pressurizing it and checking for the leak means hydro test is done for the checking of integrity of the piping system because of this reason i check with uh, i do with hydro test after hydro testing need to be do reinstatement reinstatement means say ke reinstatement is the activity to reinstall the all the line as per the pnid have some common point in the reinstatement the reinstatement common point is all the piping component are installed and the reinstalled at the respective location as shown in the pnid PNID means piping and instrumentation diagram. As per the PNID, all the component of the piping system is reinstalled. Second point, reinstall means piping. What is the piping component? Piping component is in piping removal of the spool. Which spool you need to remove during the hydro test? After hydro test, need to be again reinstalled. Reinstall valve, NRV, vent, drain, spectacle blind. flange a spacer that type of activity is need to be some valve and nrv and spectacle blind control valve mov need to be removed during the hydro test after hydro test need to be reinstalled because of the purpose of reinstall uh, reinstatement and the second point is all inline equipment and the instrument all inline equipment and instrument are installed or reinstalled of the respective location as shown in the pnid some connection with the pump and some connection with the equipment during the hydro test that need to be separate and do the hydro test where the end of the pipe end of the flange that activity need to be done for the hydro test purpose when the hydro test is completed that all temporary item need to be removed and connect with your line to the equipment and a pump anything that to be re installed with as per pnid or as per drawing third point is like uh, you remove the stainer and uh, stainer mesh also need to be removed the uh, already you remove the nrb that after hydro test need to be uh, reinstalled and the third point is pressure and temperature gauge installed are the same range as shown in the pnid means pressure also pressure temperature indicator that uh, anything pressure temperature gauge have a gauge as per the same range as per pnid need to be installed because before hydro test pressure temperature gauge is not installed that activity to be done after the hydro test so need to be install that pressure temperature gauge and the fourth point is test plug to be seal welded where in the testing plug available in this uh, your drawing so if required then after the hydro test test plug to be seal welded okay now the fourth point is fifth point jack screw some point need to be available some point is available like orifice flange have available on the jack screw on the some pair is the spectacle blind also that from blind flange also available on the jack screw that jack screw also installed after the uh, hydro test in during the reinstatement okay all nut bolt gasket all nut bolt uh, and gasket to be installed as per your Uh, drawing and as per your color code as per your uh, uh, drawing description as per drawing description that will to be align uh, alignment with proper flange connection that flange is fully engaged okay gasket material shall be verified before installation before visually and piping as per uh, before visually inspected and piping specification as per piping specification and installed uh, during the reinstatement bolt and nut material shall be verified that's why i told you the with the drawing uh, description with the nut bolt point is 
एक्सेस टू बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द इक्विपमेंट रेगुलरली ऑपरेटेड हैव सम इक्विपमेंट इट टू बी रेगुलरली ऑपरेटेड लाइक एम ओ वी लाइक एम ओ वी लाइक वॉल ऑपरेटेड बाई हैंडल दैट एरिया नीड टू बी प्रोवाइड प्रोपर स्पेस फॉर द रेगुलर ऑपरेटेड और एन एनी एमरजेंसी दैट टाइम ऑफ ऑपरेटेड सच एज वॉल हैंडल व्हील इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन कंट्रोल एंड एसोसिएटेड मैनीफोल्ड ऑल्सो वेयर द मैनीफोल्ड कनेक्शन विद द हाउस पाइप फॉर वाटर फॉर नाइट्रोजन दैट टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी ओके सेफ्टी येलो एंड ब्लैक स्ट्रिप टू द पेंटेड वेयर द ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इज प्रजेंट ऑफ द हजार विच एरिया यू फील कि डैट एरिया इज हजार इज पॉसिबल दैट एरिया नीड टू बी पेंटेड बाई येलो एंड ब्लैक स्ट्रिप ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ द कॉन्क्रीट एंड द कॉन्क्रीट सपोर्ट टू बी बेस ऑन द स्ट्रेट वे इफ एनी स्ट्रेट वे दैट एरिया नीड टू बी कॉन्क्रीट सपोर्ट ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड एंड दैट पास वे पास पैसेज वे पंच पॉइंट दैट टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी ऑन द एज ऑन द टिपिंग हजार दिस टाइप ऑफ एनी हजार दैट एरिया नीड टू बी ब्लैक एंड येलो पेंटेड बिकॉज इजली टू विजिबल एंड देन पीपुल बी से लिफ्टेड इक्विपमेंट एंड द डिवाइस सेल बी पेंटेड Uh, with yellow color and clearly mention what is the capacity of this uh, uh, lifting equipment like you see internally where the warehouse and uh, where the pump shelter that type of uh, on the top side crane that uh, oet crane that crane is need to be painted by the yellow and yellow color and clearly marked marked with the how much capacity of the crane that is the basic point when you go for the re statement basic activity in the re statement if i say visually point wise that is the first activity is after the hydro test need to be drainage and dry we need to be line drainage uh, hydro test water need to be drained and dry after that flushing is also important next point is inspection and cleaning that one is also important uh reinstallation of the component which component you already drop because of the hydro test some some of the component not include in the hydro test that equipment that instrument uh, that uh, component need to be reinstalled gasket replacement uh, reassemble and tightening after the gasket replacement reassemble is the tight tightening after that leak testing is the important part of the operations uh pressurization when you do for after the leak testing a line to be do, do the pressurization that is important point documentation replace documentations after final inspection by final inspection handover all the activity ensure that the piping system and piping function are ready for the operation this is the basic concept of the re statement when you go for re statement the line is only after hydro test line is go for the re statement that is the basic uh, things of the re statement i hope you understand re statement need to be handover of the client for the line you ready for the operations okay if you like my video share and subscribe